concept. And they call this the header. Let's say um, Tony Buzan <coughs> calls this the header. And then there are a number of subheaders. So that come off like this. And then, of course, those subheaders have sub sub headers. <laughs> this, is, this is what they call it. Okay? Now, this is a very. Um, so, I was going to say um, this process is, can happen any way you want it to. If you look online, there's actually an app for mind mapping, a number of them. Of course, they want $2.99 or $5.99. I got a 99 cent one just to see how it worked and what it did. What and it what called? it did, it put that concept into the, you know, a box. And then from that box, it would put, a, and this is Tony's sort of model. It puts these other little boxes out like this. So I'm showing you the visual of how it looks because I'm a visual person. Here is, you know, really what you know about this. These are your sub-concepts. Do you get it? So let's take, for example, let's take, for example, your theory paper. What does it have to include? <laughs> theory. Pardon me? It has to include a theory. <laughs> and after that, I'm a little fuzzy. <laughs> Intelligent musings. Intelligent musings. That's good. This is references. What else? Concepts. Concepts. Yeah, theory and concepts. And it, uh, wouldn't references be your lit review? Or no, no, it wouldn't. Concepts. Oh, God. It's so long ago that I wrote my... I, if I never have to write another thesis, <laughs> that was enough. That killed me. You know, in drama therapy, you can perform your thesis. Why didn't I do that? Oh, no. I wanted to do studies using roll card expansion in jails and then quantify the material and present it. Yeah, you should have... Hello, I'm in the right brain. What's the matter with me? Okay, reference, concepts, and what was the other thing? Lit review. Okay. So i got to put my red things here, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. See? Understand? You get it now? Yeah. Not brain science. Now, so those are a couple of ways that they can look. The other thing that I noted, and you'll love this about Nancy Margulies. I, I have a little love affair with Nancy Margulies. She doesn't know it, but I <laughs> met her once. She took me to her house in Monterey. I met a beautiful husband and her daughter, who's now a graphic recorder. And she showed me and gave me everything that she had ever written. Oh like God. that. Like she didn't know me from anybody, but she was like, oh, you, you have to read this. Mapping inner space, you have to read this. And, you know, all those things early on. And she um, is the first person to work with the Dalai Lama using graphic recording, visual depiction, mindscaping, what she called. Mm -hmm. And instead of doing what, what normally we do, which is gather a concept and put it up here, or create a beautiful picture like in the hallway that Ann Jess did with other people. Instead of doing that, she drew with pen on pieces of silk that hung in the space for the Dalai Lama. Okay, that was good. So, don't you love that? Does, can you get that visual? Okay, so now, back to you. Sorry, I just got a little sidebar. <laughs> you can also put your concept in the center of something and draw all these other little things around it. So there's really no rule about how mind mapping might occur, although Tony, Tony, Tony Buzan might say there is. In fact, really all it does is help you organize what you're thinking into a process. So you can imagine if you're doing, let's take, for example, idea generation. You know, simple, easy, put it in the center, draw a bunch of things. Actually, on your little piece of paper right there, do it now. Let's take an example of what you did. Oh, uh, let's see. I want you to do... Ah, okay. Uh, how many of you have a job? 
raise your hand. Where you work. Is there anybody in the room whose job is being a parent? Raise your hand. Okay, good. That's your job in this activity. That's a job, okay? So I want you to put the title of your job in the center of the circle. And then I would like you to take and draw a line of all the different things you have to do in that job, okay? So one, one activity per line. So you might manage people. You might manage children. You might build the lunches. You might build the process. You might, what do you do? Transport. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't. Do you work at all? No, I don't. Okay, so your job is as um, a student, okay? okay? So as a student, what do you do? Study. Present. Write papers. Write papers. Blog. Facebook. Twitter. Do you see? Okay. So, and same for you. So draw all those things that you do. Now, as you draw those things around it, so one per line, let me give you an example. So here's your main concept. Let's say that one of these is that I, um, I like to do social media. You know this concept, yes? Yes. So, yes? yes. Okay. yes. so one of the offshoots might be Facebook. One of the offshoots might be Twitter. One of the offshoots might be LinkedIn. One of the offshoots might be blogging. Okay, so that's your header, subheader, and then sub-subheaders. Now here's the thing that's cool about this. Of those little lines you drew around you, your thing, your job, was there one or two of them that you like more? Raise your hand, head nodding is appropriate. Mm -hmm. Are there one or two you like more? Yes. Okay. This is the secret. The ones that you like more, you actually want to explore even further. And sometimes they'll actually do this in a different color, right? So what do I, and I would write what I love about that. So what I love about Facebook or what I get out of it is that I meet new people. Wow, cool. Meet new people and that I... I, uh, I, I'm in the flow of what's happening with people, my friends, without having to really talk to them because I like people but I don't like to see them very much. <laughs> and then um, only, only women above a certain age laugh at that. I don't know why. <laughs> so, so, okay, so, and then um, I also love, what do you love, who, who likes Facebook here? Raise your hand in the room. Okay, what do you like about it? Mm, connect with old friends. Yeah, connect with old friends, okay. And what else? Call it out. Picture of the kids. Pictures of the kids. Pictures. Yeah, pictures. Okay. What don't you like about it? Privacy. Privacy. Yeah, privacy. Like, okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that doesn't go so good. Mmm, boo. <coughs> boo. Um, what else? Don't you like about it? Farmville. Yeah. Farmville. <laughs> For real. Yeah, okay. So, when you are creating your next career move, you might consider mind mapping to do it. Here's the secret to it you put the concept in there what I could do in my next career, whatever it is, my career, right? And it's simple is better in terms of languaging. So, you want to use simple phrases my career. Then you brainstorm all the things you could be doing. Mm -hmm. And so you say, I could be a graphic recorder. She said we can make a lot of money. I could be a business consultant within the business that I'm in now. So like I could shift my position in Boeing to do more OD work, right? Or I could, you know, move entirely out of it and into maybe I should be more of a business psychologist, right? So there's lots of different things. Then you take each one of those concepts and explore it. Like both what you think about it, like in the positive side, which is, wow, that'd be cool. You know, um, yeah, it, I could work all over the world. If I was a graphic recorder, work all over the world. I don't have the same clients all the time, so I wouldn't get bogged down. They wouldn't bug me. There's not so much gossipy stuff happening. I wouldn't have to handle that. And I could um, expand my art. All of these things. But the one that place 